Okay, so now the question is the potential energy to assemble the square charges at the right. So the idea is we start with none and we bring them all in. And so we can we can order these, I guess, one, two, three, four, perhaps. Um, oh, and actually, we, all we're going to need is is the sign of this, it seems. So let's take a look at this and see what we can figure out. So the work to bring in charge 1, the minus q, is just going to be equal to 0 because um, there are no other charges around. The work to bring in charge 2, well, um, the work done by the electric field in this case is going to be positive because it wants to come in, so that means the potential energy is going to be negative. So we're going to get a minus k q q over a. That's all there is. The work to bring in charge 3, well, we have to worry about charge 1. These are both minus, so that's going to be a positive work there, plus k q q. And then we have the square root of 2 times a. And then because of charge 2, here we're going to have negative. So we're going to get minus k, q, q. And that separation is just a. And finally, bringing in particle 4. Um, first, due to charge 1, charge 1, it's going to be doing, uh, we're going to get a, a negative potential energy, just like we did charge 2 here, since it's an attractive force, minus k, q, q over a. Due to charge 2, we're going to get a positive, but it's going to be it's further away, square root of 2 times a. And then from charge 3, we're going to get negative because, again, that's an attractive force there, and the separation is just a. So uh, you can just count these. You can see we have 1, 2, 3, 4 negative terms, only 2 positive terms. In fact, those positive terms are even suppressed. So definitely we're going to end up with something less than 0.